Some terrific news for the Vandals pregame. The starting quarterback Jack Lane was cleared and available to start tonight. Lane missed seven weeks with a broken collarbone, suffered week one against Oregon. And that was great news for the Vandal offense. On the first drive, Lane finds Alex Moore for the touchdown to make it 7 0. But the Eags would answer. Keikoa Vesperis takes it in himself, and we are tied at seven. In the second quarter, Lane's going to hit Jordan Dwyer. What a beautiful pass this is, and the Vandals retake a 14-7 lead. The teams would trade field goals, and the Vandals led 17-13 at the half. Now here's the play of the game. On the first drive of the third quarter, fourth and goal, but Efton Chisholm is stuffed by Dwayne McDougal. The Eags come away with nothing on the very next Play Day Day Buchanan gets loose. A 72 yard scamper. He finally gets tracked down by Dejon Wells. He would later take it in from a yard out to make it 24 13 Idaho. On the ensuing drive, Vesperis with a nice 13 yard run here, but at the end of the play, he loses the football. Idaho recovers. That would set up Rocco Koch for a rushing touchdown to make it 31-13 Idaho, and the Vandals go on to win the Chisco Cup 38-28. You know, I thought our team showed a lot of heart. You know, we were, uh, you know, I thought the turning point was our defense making such a great goal line stand there, uh, which is kind of a, a calling card of our defense. We've been really good in those situations, and then Day Day busts a big run, and uh, just proud of him. I love, love the way we ran the ball in the second half. Uh, you know, I thought Jack, it was great to have him back. You know, he was, uh, you know, he was very accurate, did a nice job. But uh, yeah, I think our, our best football is still ahead of us. I think we can keep getting better here. Ton of guts, uh, ton of plays made on the road against a top 15 team, well coached team, physical team, and uh, I thought at times we uh, we we were the most physical team on, on offense at times, but we didn't do enough at the end of the day. The Vandals will have a bye next week as Eastern Washington will have to regroup ahead of a daunting matchup with number two Montana State next Saturday.